entertaining. I have my Catalina friends back behind you and the sun kissing them goodnight. And with that softness, let's see if we can translate that effortlessness into your hips. Sit on your right thigh and then bring your knees into a mermaid position, sort of pinwheel shape. And bring your left hand to your left hip, so the one that's not towards the ground. And then let your hip point float up and forward and just drop down and back. It's almost as though it's floating in space. Your range of motion might be quite small, and that's great. But can you see if you can back off that uh, big, strong pull towards sensation and let your hip just mobilize in space? Now, next time your hips come up, your hip rather comes up, let your shoulder ride all the way up to touch your ear. Drop your hip down, drop your shoulder. Almost like you're making a circle. Hip goes up and forward, shoulder rolls up, hip drops, shoulder drops. Try that a few more on your own, and you might explore the ways that this feels right in your body. It knows how to do Take your left arm, let your hip round back, almost like you're slouching, and then let your other arm come through, almost like you're threading a needle very gently, and just arching round through your spine. Noticing, does your hip come along? Where do you feel the movement wants to travel through your body? If you have a pillow nearby or a blanket, you can put it over this thigh and round your spine over so that it flops down. You can fold all the way forward. It's quite a bit of weight um, forced through your acetabulum and your femur head pressing into it. I prefer not to do that. That's not the variation for me. If you'd like to take another variation, I'm just turning so you can see what this looks like. Staying on that hip, you're going to drop back until your right elbow lines up with your right butt cheek. So rather than going out to the side, straight back and forth. And then from here, find that arch like you're a rock star. Now do the opposite. Round your spine towards the dirt or the floor. Stay rounded and then start to thread that needle again. Keep the rounding maybe you even reach like you could pluck a piece of ripe fruit. Now let a huge inhale fill up your ribs. Take your time and rise up. Sit on your other hip when you're ready. Sitting on your left hip and remembering that you can always put something under this hip to lift you up a little bit higher and even do it off the side of a chair. Bring your right hand to your hip. Let your hip float forward and up, down and back, forward and up, almost like a, a violin bowing the strings. If you can jam it to the end to get a beautiful sound out of it, let it glide along. Next time your hip is up, your shoulder round up towards your ear 
and draw back. Explore this at your pace. There's no rush, you could stay right there. Or let that hip find a place where it just feels like it's fine for you. And then take your right hand and start to gently, gently roll your spine towards the left. And finding once again that gliding sensation of your spine. options you could stay right here if you're loving it there you can put a bolster or a blanket to give you a lot of lift and support to round over some of you might fold over the top of your thigh it's not a variation that I like or you can go ahead and turn to the side and then start to come back onto your left elbow so lining your left elbow up to your left sit bone and then arch your spine like you're a rock star and now let it round like your turtle curling into your shell. You know, gentle, gentle curling through. And maybe you get a big yawn and reach through your arm. And let your rib cage and your breath fill in it. Be the, the point of focus there. No rush to bring yourself back up to seated. And come on back down to the earth. And let the earth hold you. Take your hands to your shins and start to stir your legs around. Your body knows how to do this, you can trust it. to the floor or the ground. Roll your spine up. Reach your arms all the way overhead. And then we're going to get it back. Just arch and like you're yawning. Reach through your arms. Take a big inhale. Hold your breath at the top. And then roll your spine back down. And keep reaching through your arms. Tractioning out your spine. Inhale, rolling your hips up, maybe arching your back all the way on purpose. Maybe exhale. Try that three more times at the pace that works for you. your choice whenever you're ready. up to one side. You might bow to the mountains. Inhale and reach up. And I give you a little bow of respect and gratitude. Thanks so much.
so much. Let me know how it went for you. Let the community know what you're noticing. And take all the love from the glowing rock shell of these beautiful caterpillars. See you next time.